Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Okay, this uh, brief talk, inshallah, is about help. Okay, but I'm going to start it with a quick question, inshallah. If, uh, if you know someone that just had a heart attack, okay, and they've never seen a doctor before, uh, would you advise them to go to a doctor or to go to a sheikh? Everyone says doctor, except the sheikh. What, what if someone had uh, cancer? Would you send them to a doctor or a sheikh? Doctor. Okay. So what if you sent this person um, to a doctor and then the doctor told the person go to a sheikh? What do you think of the doctor? Yeah. Oh, you think the doctor said it's hopeless, right? That this cannot possibly be a treatment. Okay, this is also what the medical field uh, kind of believed. So I'm going to share with you what one doctor did in response to those very diseases. And we'll see, you know, the outcome of it. Uh, to understand this, I want you to think of health in three ways. Um, physical, our body, mental, our brain, and uh, spiritual, which we can say is our soul. Okay, so uh, over 30 years ago, one very uh, prominent physician named uh, Dean Ornish took a group of people that were very, very physically sick. They needed something called a heart bypass or a coronary bypass. That's like as about as sick as you can get in this regard. And a lot of them had diabetes and they had chest pain every day. They couldn't walk very far. They were very sick. And normally these people would have had surgery or in the very least they would have been given a lot of prescription medications by their doctors. And he told them, no, we're going to do something very different. And so this is what he said we'll do. He said, for your, he said we're going to work on your physical health, your mental health, and your spiritual health, basically. And we'll see if this advice sounds like advice from a doctor or a sheikh. Okay, he said, for your physical health, number one, you're going to eat mainly plants, something that's grown. That's going to be most of your food. You're going to avoid, you know, things that uh, used to have a mother, like animals. Okay, and he said, you're, if you smoke, you're going to have to stop smoking. He said you should walk, you should walk a lot, and that was basically his recipe for your physical health. Then for mental, he said you have to relieve your stress. So he said in order to relieve your stress, at least once a day, you have to be able to get out of this world and go somewhere else, away from this world. So he said you have to meditate. You have to sit and do some meditation and kind of forget about all the trouble of this world. And then for the spiritual health, he said more. He said, you need to achieve sort of an inner peace, come to peace with yourself and with other people in the world. And he gave some examples. He said, if you have a brother or a sister or a parent that you have been arguing with, he said, you need to make up with them. You need to fix this argument. And this was his plan. That was it. And he said, no surgery, no medication for this group of people. And the medical community thought he was a little, um, a little crazy almost. And what happened to these people is within a few weeks, just weeks, without surgery, without anything, their chest pain went away. And they were able to walk better. And then after one year, they actually checked their hearts. They had checked their heart before, and they checked their hearts after a year, and they found the blood vessels in their heart that were blocked were starting to open up. And then after five years, they checked these people again, and the blood vessels were opening up even more. So he did basically, and he named his book, Rever Program for Reversing Heart Disease. Kind of as if you're getting younger in a way almost. That's awesome. And um, now, the same doctor today, has also shown that you can take men who have prostate cancer and you can treat them in the same way. And their cancer gets better, or at least it doesn't get worse, without surgery, without radiation, without 
you know, the usual medicine we do for cancer. And this program has also been shown that if you do it for people who have diabetes, their diabetes can go away. That's the type 2 diabetes that you get as an adult, not the one for kids. Okay, so this was his advice. Now let's compare this with advice that you might get if you did go to the sheikh from the beginning and you didn't go to a doctor. Let's look at possible religious advice, you know, that we take for granted as Muslims. 